coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. We're expecting a cold snap this weekend and the United Way of Knox County needs your help with making sure that people stay warm during that cold snap. The organization wants to build a list of places such as public agencies or churches and those places must be open for people to stay warm for at least four hours while offering them food and drinks. The goal is to make the list easily accessible to those who need help. If you have a place that's available for use as a shelter, contact the United Way of Knox County at 812-882-3624. Reed Services in Terre Haute is also getting ready for the cold. The Pathways Day Center will open Saturday and stay open through Wednesday. There you can warm up, get a meal and take a shower. Laundry services will not be available. Pathways is located at 504 South 15th Street in Terre Haute. The center is in need of donations and volunteers. To learn more about how you can help, call 812-244-1357. Vincennes University is making sure commuting students have a safe, safe place to stay if the winter weather gets bad. The university is offering extra dorm rooms to provide shelter to commuters. Students can stay until road conditions approve and it's all free of charge. Students who have any questions or need to secure housing can contact the main housing office by calling 812-888-4225. Renovations to a West Vigo High School classroom are done. That's after the room was damaged by a fire. School officials say the entire classroom had to be gutted. Students returned to the manufacturing classroom last week and they were greeted with some new equipment and supplies. The November fire was ruled accidental. Happening today, you're encouraged to wear blue to raise awareness about human trafficking. The human trafficking is a serious issue that occurs everywhere. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security's Blue Campaign is a human trafficking advocacy program raising awareness and providing outreach. You can participate in the campaign by wearing blue today for hashtag wear blue day. If you know or suspect someone is a victim of human trafficking, you can submit a tip online or call the National Human Trafficking Hotline at 888-373-7888. Happening today, you have another chance to voice your thoughts about transportation in Vigo County. The Terre Haute Area Metropolitan Planning Organization wants to know how you feel about things like roads, bike paths, and transit. It'll use that information to create a plan to help guide federal money to support local projects. A public input session is happening today at the Hub, that's from 4 to 6 this afternoon, at the Holman Building, located at 900 Wabash Avenue. And if you can't make it to that meeting, we've linked you to where you can submit online opinions at WTHITV.com. Not too bad today. We're in the lower 40s. We're partly sunny. It's going to be dry. The winds have tapered off a little bit. So try to get outside and get uh, your outdoor chores complete today before we start to see some very active weather over the weekend. Starts tonight. We're in the upper 30s. Mostly cloudy skies. Late rain moves in. You know, it's going to start to get windy. And then the windy conditions gain strength tomorrow. 35, 40 mile an hour wind gusts. Upper 40s with the temperature. So it's warmer, but it's still not going to be that comfortable due to the strong winds and intense rain that we're going to see most of the day. I'm thinking a large amount of rain tomorrow. So be prepared for water over roadways. Make sure uh, any areas that you know usually have a problem with a, a day of rain, uh, keep an eye on them, especially if you're doing driving. You can see uh, over the course of the weekend, you could see that rain turn over to snow. So maybe some snow accumulation by Saturday morning. And it's just barely cold. Mm. 